Hot Costume Contest. We do it every year. It's always a lot of fun. Let's get started. Our first caress. Okay, who can forget that one time Wendy Williams literally passed out during her show? Well, guess what? The same addiction that led to that moment was the reason why Wendy's first husband, Bert Girigori, left her. I must admit, Miss Wendy has done a pretty good job at trying to make us forget that she had another husband before Kevin Hunter. And girl, that marriage was also just as messy. And allegedly, their marriage ended because of Wendy's raging addiction. And and Bert himself spilled on why he had to walk out of that very dysfunctional marriage. So what exactly did he say about Wendy's severe addiction that totally ruined their marriage? Allegedly. And why does Wendy pretend like that part of her life never happened? I mean, Wendy has been pretty open about what went down with Kevin. You know, infidelity is one thing. A full baby is a whole nother topic. But why does she keep whatever happened with Bert under wraps? Well, maybe it's because Bert has so much to expose about her that caused her the first marriage. Anyway, based on what I could dig up about Bert, he was or still is a sales and marketing expert based in Charlotte, North Carolina. And he has been the president of G2 Marketing which is a digital marketing business since 2010. As for how he met Wendy, he was working at Kiss FM at the time when Wendy was an on-air presenter. They started hanging out and eventually their casual get-togethers developed into a romantic relationship and they even got married. Allegedly, tension, misunderstandings, and fights occurred between them. And after only five months of their marriage, Bert and Wendy began to live apart. And then they divorced in 1995 after only one year of marriage. Also, do you find it strange that Bert Bert was left out of Wendy's biopic? I mean, how does one leave out their first husband in a biopic that is supposed to cover major events in their life? In her biopic, Wendy sort of reveals why she refuses to go into detail about her first marriage, saying, yeah, I'm skipping over my first husband. He was just a rebound after the disaster with Eric B. It was a start of marriage that lasted five months, and frankly, it's not interesting enough to talk about. Well, clearly, there's a lot to say about her relationship with Bert, even though Wendy insists that there's nothing interesting there. Get this. The only time Wendy talked about Bert was when she wrote about him in her autobiography, Wendy's Got the Heat, and she referred to him by the pseudonym Robert Morris III. She actually wrote that while they made a nice picture, they ultimately weren't suited for long-term compatibility. According to Wendy, they always fought about a lot of things from her hair, her dressing, and the several appearances she had to make in clubs. She also blankly said that she hated Bert's friends, who were mostly computer people, business execs, and listeners of her show. And the reason why Wendy hated them was that every time she was around them, they would always ask a million questions about celebrities. In addition, Wendy wrote in her book that Bert mistreated her and even described their last straw saying, the final fight, who knows what it was about. But I do know that homeboy did something that I could never forgive. He spit in my face. I mean, a big hawker that came from down low and that was the last straw. Also, according to Wendy, after they broke up, Bert started saying some pretty nasty things about her. And when he finally served her with divorce papers, he asked for alimony so that he could maintain the lifestyle to which he was accustomed. Sound familiar? Well, that's because Wendy pretty much went through the same thing with Kevin. Well, that's Wendy's side of the story. But let's just say that Bert had a completely different reason as to why their marriage ended. Okay, when Wendy went to rehab in 2019, Bert opened up in detail about what really went down during their marriage in an interview with Radar Online. Oh, this was also around the time Wendy revealed that she had been living in a sober house. For some time now, and even today and beyond, I have been living in a sober house. I am driven by my 24-hour sober coach back to a home, lights out by 10 p.m. So I go to my room, and I stare at the ceiling, and I fall asleep to wake up to come back here to see you. So that is my truth. Before that, Wendy had also passed out on national TV. That was not a stunt. I'm overheated in my costume and I did pass out. But you know what? I'm a champ and I'm back. 
As for what Bert told Radar Online about Wendy, first of all, he denied the claim that he mistreated Wendy and even said that other than the addiction that strained their marriage, Wendy allegedly cheated on him. He said, after we broke up, people started calling me up and telling me different things. At that point, it didn't matter. Several people came to me with stories about her being with other people. He actually said that he knew one man Wendy had an affair with who worked in entertainment and media, but he wouldn't reveal his identity since it could impact his relationship with the man wife. And according to him, the real reason why they broke up was Wendy's crazy addiction. And Wendy apparently kept that part of her life hidden from him when they were dating. Bert actually said that he was fully unaware of her suspected drug use until after the breakup when he realized that her erratic conduct may have been explained by the addiction. And according to him, Wendy simply morphed into someone else. And because of that, they had a tremendous breakdown and their whole relationship became very strained. Can you believe that even when they were on honeymoon, they had a huge argument because Wendy wanted to go out and leave Bert alone? And he suspected that it was because of her drug use. Well, those who have followed Wendy over the years know that what Bert was revealing wasn't new and that she has really struggled with her addiction. In fact, Wendy herself has been pretty open about her struggles with addiction and recovery journey. It was a functioning addict. I report to work on time and I'd walk in and all of my coworkers, including my bosses, would know. But instead of firing me, you see, I would grab my headphones and arrogantly walk in the studio and dare them to fire me because I was making ratings. Unfortunately, with everything going on in her life, Wendy relapsed and Wells Fargo even froze her accounts in January 2022 over concerns that she was of unsound mind. And the bank suspected financial exploitation, dementia, or undue influence. And Wendy did speak out about the incident herself. My thing is that I've been asking questions about my money. And when I began asking questions about my suddenly Lori Schiller has got no response regarding my money. I want my money. This is not fair. And Wells Fargo has no questions and answers with regarding my money. This is, this is not fair. In August 2022, Wendy again checked into an undisclosed rehab facility for treatment, and she spent two months in rehab being treated for severe alcoholism after having a number of public incidents involving alcohol. Allegedly, she never wanted to stop drinking, and the people around her in New York allowed her to do just that. And after staying at the facility for two months, she said she felt better than ever. However, months later, The Sun reported that Wendy was admitted to the hospital, but was released briefly and then went right back in a day later. She also canceled her appearance at the Atlanta Women's Expo that was supposed to be held on April 6, 2023, leading fans to conclude that she was clearly not okay. Other than that, both Wendy's brother Tommy and her son and Kevin Jr. have both expressed concern over Wendy's health, meaning that she's probably not any better. Well, according to Wendy's first husband, Bert, it was because of the addiction that the marriage ended. Of course, there's also the possibility that the reason why their marriage ended, just as Wendy stated, was that he was mistreating her. But I would love to know what you think about Wendy skipping over her first husband like he never existed. Do you think they got divorced because of her addiction or because he was mistreating her? Let me know what you think in the comments section below.